to Hi Floss Tube. I'm Chris. And I'm Jane. And we are the Boss Stitchers. Today is Friday, June 11, and this is episode 22. Thanks for joining us today. If you're new, welcome. And if you're a returning subscriber, we're happy to have you back. <laughs> uh, we're filming actually a day early today. Yeah, we are. Um, we usually do it. Um, on a stitch day at our local LNS, the World in Stitches in Littleton. But Jane has some other plans tomorrow. Yep. My niece is getting married, so I'm going to a shower. So I'm going to miss the stitching day, but yes. maybe we'll have mimosas or something at the shower. <laughs> so that'll, that will be we'll good. help make up for that. That'll be good. <laughs> help sweeten the deal. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. So you're going tomorrow, though, right? I am going, yeah. yeah. It sounds like there's going to be a full house, too. Yeah. Yeah. Well, it's yeah. so nice that things are starting to open up. Oh, it is, oh, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And at least around here, the numbers have been really good and they encouraging. Yeah. So. yeah. Yeah. Um, I just nice. wanted to mention, too, that today's uh, pictures are from the New England Aquarium. Oh. I went uh, a few weeks ago with my nephew and my godson, um, ages 14 and 12, and we had a, a really nice time. So I uh, threw in a, a few pictures at the beginning here. Um, so uh, with that, do you want to throw out the first stitch? I'd love to. Wait, wow. Okay. Okay, I have a couple of whips, and I guess I'll start out with the really little one. This is a fun little kit. It's from... I'm gonna say Clart. My Russian is a little <laughs> rusty, but um, it's a Panna company, and it is a little magnet. It's a plastic canvas, and it's a fun little stitch. Actually, um, a mutual friend of ours, Terry, and I have joined a pool club this summer. Mm. So it's um, kind of nice poolside stitching to okay. have along all with right. you. Right. Yeah. As long as you don't get all suntan lotion I, on uh, it. Yeah, or... yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's not kind of high risk, you yeah. know what I mean? <laughs> right, right. If and actually, if you do get it a little it, slimy, yeah. you can always <laughs> right, wash it. Right, yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's not perforated paper. Right. <laughs> And I bought this at one, two, three stitch. Okay. And then my other project is a really fun one, which I'm sure a lot of you have seen. Por favor, or favor, however one, mm -hmm. I guess, wants to go with that. Mm -hmm. It's um, Silver Creek Samplers. And I am having a great time on this. I love everything about it. It's such a fun stitch. Um, I've used all the calls for, and it's a mixture of a um, few fancy flosses and DMC, and it's on um, platinum cashel linen. That and looks I great. A, I love the colors. I do too. Yeah. And I have a light, nice, large, generous size piece of this that what, I um, probably could have what cut What count off. is that? Um, it's 28 count. Okay. Yeah. Um, so that's been yeah, really nice. fun. Yeah, that's very nice. And that's it in the whip department for me. Okay. Um, so I've been working on a few things. Um, so this one is Lindy Stitches, and it's called um, Ride Forth Singing. So I have been working on this. I got a... a a little bit of the, the lettering done. Yeah, sure. Right. I got a little bit of the lettering done, and I got a little bit of the horse in. And so I've been working on the horse. The horse is going to be, you know, very... Large. Large. <laughs> Here, I'll, I'll let you fix that. All right. But, um, yeah, so the horse is very large, a lot of solid stitching, um, which I don't, I'm not going to mind, really. It's just going to take a while. Um, but I've decided that I don't like this fabric. Um, I have it on a 32-count Lugana. It's called um, 
Queen Anne's lace. Mm -hmm. And I mean, the fabric is fine. It's just that I don't, I'm not, I'm not liking the way it looks. And I think it's because this is done on shale. And one of the things I think that attracts me to this is the purple fabric. Uh, so for now, I'm going to put this aside. I'm going to abandon it right now. I think I'm going to, I haven't been able to find shale anywhere. Um, but I think I'm going to just wait and see if I can get a piece of that and start it over again before I get too far. I mean, yeah. I've put, a, I've yeah, put some put hours into out. it, yeah. but I just, you know, I just don't like it. So I'm sure I'm if not you continued, it would look lovely in the end, yeah. but I do know what you mean. Yeah. It really is a standout on the shale. Yeah. Yeah. Or yeah. Yeah. some. So anyway, that's a simile uh, there on. So that's what I'm going to be doing with that. I do love this though, and it absolutely will get stitched. Uh, this one, um, is called Eat Cake. <laughs> Love this. And this is a, a Sue Hillis design. And this is a project that I've decided that it's going to be a kind of a dessert project because, uh, what the design says is the more you weigh, the harder you are <laughs> to kidnap. <laughs> And I wanted to do, like, desserts and uh, junk food. So I stitched uh, the words, and I stitched the um, original, like, it looks like a strawberry shortcake here. Um, and then um, I put in, the next motif I put in is a hamburger. That looks great. <laughs> And I got the hamburger from an old uh, booklet. It's um, Buttermilk oh, Biscuits. Now that's vintage. It is vintage, uh, 1981. So this was the booklet, and it's got all kinds of little um, like kitchen type things. Uh, in the back, it has uh, recipes for apple crisp and strawberry shortcake that you could stitch. Um, but what I did, and it's very small, but so I took, this is a, a, a recipe box, and I took the hamburger from the recipe box, changed up the colors a little bit, but um, uh, basically used that chart for my hamburger. Well, that's really fun. And, CJ, when uh, you buy all your vintage things, you never know uh, where they're going to show up. You never know where up. I'm going to use them. So, <laughs> and then the other thing that is nice about this is there's a, there's a little piece of cake there that I might add in. There's these little Hershey kisses. It says, kiss the cook. So maybe throughout, I'll just add a few little of these, you know, nice. kisses here and there. That's really cute. Um, the I was looking to see where this is from. Cruel World. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. I have no sure, idea. They're long gone. How much was it? Five. Okay. Yeah. But you got a lot with it. Yeah. Yeah. Um, the next motif that I'm going to work on, I've decided, is going to be um, mm -hmm. this little ice cream um, sundae. That's a good one. So that should be that should be kind of cute. From a cross stitcher magazine. It is from a cross stitcher magazine, and unfortunately, when I printed this from the magazine, I didn't write down which one it was. I it, I think it it might be from just cross stitch or no. You know what? I think it's, it's not one of the because English ones, it actually. is. Yep, it is because this one says that the thread and the fabric cost is approximately 24 pounds. Oh, okay. So, yeah, it definitely is from one of the English magazines. Um, the World of Cross Stitch, that's going to be my guess. Oh, you know what? I bet you're right. Yeah. I bet you're right, and I don't... And unfortunately, it doesn't say it on here, and it doesn't even say the um, month. But... Oh, well... You'll just have to buy them all. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So that'll that'll be my next one. Um, I also. That's a fun one. Yeah. I also have 
this uh, tiny modernist uh, Bake the World a Better Place, which I was going to stitch. And this has some little motifs in it. It has a pie and it has a cake and some cookies. So I'll probably throw those in at some point. Um, I have a few other charts uh, that I'm going to be taking motifs from. So, uh, and like I said um, in our previous video, that this will be done whenever I feel like it's done. Right. Um, so I'll just keep putting yeah. putting the things all, in. Until... I love that fabric, and I, the colors all look great on that too. Right. So the fabric is uh, thir uh, no twenty eight count linen. Uh, it's called Lemonade by Color and Cotton. And I think it looks, I, I, think, names. I think things are going to look pretty good on that. I think so. That's a great one. Okay. It's Tiger. Oh, Tiger. Tiger, no sitting on my stitching. Tiger likes to be in the middle of things. <laughs> throw that on the yep. other chair. <laughs> um, I worked on this uh, poo quote, and again, I don't remember where I got, I know I got it on Etsy, but I don't remember who it was says, uh, sometimes the smallest things take up the most room mm -hmm. in your heart. And I'm stitching this on uh, 20, uh, no, 32 count Joblin called Summer oh. Sky. And, oh, excuse me. And I just, um, I did some more of, I just did a few, some more of the words. Um, Great fabric. Yeah, it's, it's really nice fabric. Yeah. So that looks, I want to, yeah, it shouldn't take. Looks like a nice summer long. sky, doesn't it? Yes. So trying to, trying to stitch on some of my summerish um, patterns. Yeah. All right. Okie dokie. Mm -hmm. That's that. Um, let's see. So, keeping with the summer theme, um, in... Oh, have we seen that bag yet? Oh, yep, yeah, you've seen this bag. So this is my, this is my Peanuts bag from Studio 88 West. And, oh, I just, she has, um, she actually has some more of these in stock. So if you missed oh, out the first nice. time... Uh, go on Studio 88 West on Etsy, and you could too could have a peanuts <laughs> bag. It, um, these are nice bags. They're you know 15 by 15, so they they fit a, a Q snap really nicely. Yeah, that's a and great they're, size. They're very well made, and they have uh, the handle and my little um, Snoopy Snoopy charm. So. Very appropriate for you to have a beagle. Yes. Uh, this um, next whip is from the Stony Creek Nature's Best for the Bath. And I'm doing this. It's called Underwater... What's it called? Under the Sea. Wait, let me see. Yep, it's called <laughs> Under the Sea. And that's the, the booklet. It's got a number of number of patterns in it. This is being done on a just a 28 count, just a white um, Lugana. And take it out of the Q-snap. I'm working right now on the two uh, clownfish, and these are very confetti heavy. Yeah. Uh, so I'm working on them simultaneously so that I can use just... You know, put in, more the, bang for your put in the that. few stitches yeah. and then move to the other one. Put in a few <laughs> stitches of the same color. I don't have to keep re-threading my needle. It's going to turn out really nice. Yeah. Uh, the colors on this are, are great. Yeah, I love that. It's, it's taking a lot of time, though. Yeah. More time than I thought maybe it would. <laughs> Funny how things are like that sometimes. <laughs> yeah. And then my last whip... Uh, again, here's my 30 minute a day project, um, Let Freedom Ring from Leela's studio. And I always love seeing the progress I on this. get some more done here. Um, 
So from the last time you saw it, I, let's see, let's hold, sorry guys, <laughs> bear with us, we're new at this. Got it? Oh. Okay. Okay. So from the last time that you saw it, I did a lot of the back stitching here on the border, on the uh, acorns and the leaves. And the people, and right? I, yes, and I put in oh. almost all of the people. Wow. So the... You've done a lot Yeah, this time. so the people have, they have a little bit more back stitching, and there's a few more stitches um, on the, um, that I need to put in the woman. Uh, but they're mostly done. So, I think they look pretty good. Oh, I love that, Jane. Yeah. And here's the whole piece. It's on a, a 36 count linen from Seraphim Ooh. Fabrics. Wow. Doing it uh, one over two with all the called for colors. Very impressive. That is really filling in. Yeah. I'm glad when it's great. That's done. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's fun. To, it's 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 really fun. I, actually, I'm going to be sad when it's done because yeah, it is it is it is really yeah. fun to stitch on. Yeah. yeah. So those were all my whips. Okay. Any finishes? No, I have no <laughs> finishes. How about well, you? Well, I do. Mm -hmm. But as I said to Jane, I am a bad floss doer. Amazingly, I had a start and a finish all in one since we were last here. <laughs> and I brought it right as right when it was done to the finish uh, to the framer. Mm. And because um, this is for a present. Right? Yes, it is. It's the Father's Day present, which you may all be sick of hearing. <laughs> but um, Anyway, it is Let Us Love. It's a Bible verse by My Big Toe Designs. Mm -hmm. And I cannot find what I did with the picture, the one with the pattern. So I'm sorry about that, but um, should be coming home mm -hmm. soon. Mm -hmm. So by the next episode, I should have the FFO to present. Okay. But I'm really Great. bummed at myself. Great. And I have no FFOs. Well, I actually <laughs> have have that too. So excuse me for a moment while I sort of get out of view. Um, so I just have one um, new FFO, but um, I thought I'd uh, have a little story with this. This is an old FFO. This is a little um, needlepoint project that I did many years ago, and I can tell you exactly how many years ago. Um, I See believe I it was. Some of the glare off. Yeah, thank you. Oh, that's, that's much really better. Good. I think this was hand painted, and I believe that I got it in Maine on our honeymoon. We got married in 1992, mm -hmm. and I must have given it to my mother. Well, I know that I must have to as a present, but I was telling Jane on the back of it, my mother writ, writ, <laughs> wrote, wrote in pen by Chris, 1993, like I was 10 years old. But um, <laughs> that reminded me that, um, oh, and by the way, with I'm so I'm now going to go on to the other FFO and I'll show you that. But I've decided to move this from where it is uh, inside our hallway. And um, in on our fireplace, we have a little, which is painted white. We have like, you know, the little, I don't know what you call that thing, right kind of above the fire. Mm -hmm. And um, which, of course, we don't use much anyway, but we won't be using in the summer. And I think this will look nice. On the mantle? Yeah, well, centered in that wood 
Oh, fire, oh, yeah. Right above the fire, okay. please. Yeah, so, yeah. Anyway, yeah, I think yeah. I'll do that. Now, do you know but, anything about, you remember anything about the kit? You, was it a kit? I, was it a, well, I do yeah. think, I, I think it was hand-painted, the, the canvas was. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. And yeah. then you were okay. at a shop, and Got whether it. you yep. they picked the colors out or okay. whatever. Yeah. Um, but it also reminded me of um, one time, you know, as an adult, a friend had come to my mother's with me. And after we left, she said, it's like a museum in there. And <laughs> it was sort of like the history of Chris's craft <laughs> through the years. <laughs> there's needlepoint, there's cross stitch, <laughs> there was the cruel period, there was ceramics, I mean, <laughs> you name it. it was and she there. kept it all. Yeah, well, yeah, pretty much. <laughs> so it just kind of reminded me of that, which is funny. That's great. But anyway, the reason that piece is being moved is because I finished Let's Talk Spring. Nice. And I just picked that up from the framer today. Mm -hmm. So this is the third of the series by Hands on Design that I finished. And uh, yeah, sorry, that glare's still there, but mm -hmm. that was better, Jane. Yep. Thanks. Yeah. And um, so, yeah. That's great. I decided I had to do it. Yep. And as I think I said before, I'm not typically a spring stitcher, but um, these colors did really appeal to me. Yeah, I just and, love, I love um, the little birds. Yeah, I know. I love the little nest. Yeah. It looks great. Yeah. And that was uh, a fun stitch to what, do. What, um, that was a chalkboard, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah. I think it was. It mm -hmm. wasn't the Be Stitch Me that I've done the other ones. I love that dirty chalkboard of mm -hmm. hers. Mm -hmm. But uh, yes, I think this was uh, chalkboard from one, two, three. Yeah. Looks, looks great. So that was that. Yeah. So on to haul. Um, yes. Go out a little something? You first or no, me? No, you go. Mm -hmm. I'll, All right. I'll gather my thoughts and my okay. things together. <laughs> <laughs> okay, um, let's see. So first, I have the next installment in the Let's Go Sledding Ornament Club, and this oh is number six. So three, three more ornaments. To put on your to, list for next year, That's right? right, that's right. To put on my sled list for next year. I think they're cute. Yeah. I love seeing these. And these are from um, these are from the series, uh, the Crazy Annie's series, uh, Let's Go Sledding. I also have a Crazy Annie's installment, and this is the Tales from the Sea, uh, Fragments in Time, uh, 2021. I got my next installment, and this is number five, and it's the mermaid with the ship. And, Who's that designer? Uh, uh, the designer is um, Summer House Stitchworks. Oh, nice. And I got, this one is uh, Remember Me, I guess. Um, this is number six. So these are, uh, I bought the series, it's an auto ship. Um, there's eight charts in the series, so I'll be, nice. getting, be getting two more. Um, you can uh, get them from a, uh, Crazy Anna, Annie's uh, Facebook page. Uh, I will link it below. There's also, you could stitch them obviously separately. You could also stitch them as one big project. And, um, the, there is a complimentary chart uh, on the summerhousestitchworks.com um, website. So I'll link that too. So nice. if you wanted to stitch them all together, yeah. there, you, there's yeah. a complimentary border. Okay. Okay. The next thing is that mm. uh, Twin Peak Primitives was having a sale, so I couldn't pass <laughs> up the sale. Uh, I thought this one was really cute. It's called Stitching Summer, and these are um, I got these. These are all PDF um, downloads. But I just love you know the idea of the spools and the yeah. needles and scissors. 
That's really clever. Yeah. And then um, Meet Me in St. Louis is uh, one of my favorite um, Judy Garland movies. And the trolley song is one of my favorite Judy Garland songs. So I had to get Clang Clang <laughs> Trolley, which is another Summer How, uh, sorry, uh, Twin Peak Primitive. And it says, one. Clang 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 went the trolley, ding 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 went the bell. Zing 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 went my heartstrings from the moment I saw him, I fell. Oh, is that when you sing to Holly? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I, you know, being from New England, I got Lobster Factory. Is that what they make them these days? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and then I thought this one was really cute, and I got the tribute to Hans Brinker. I love that. Yeah. I have no idea what that says, but... Me neither. And maybe I'll just put some extra geese or something here. <laughs> or maybe I'll try to translate it and put whatever it says there. Maybe it says tribute to Hans yeah. Brinker. I don't know. And then um, I've, you know, I've been stalling on this. You have. And so finally got the Springfield 1817 sampler. Could be the big winner, Jane. I could be the big yeah. winner. You got that right. Um, I also wanted to mention that I got an email today from Twin Peak Primitives, and um, it is their mother's uh, birthday today. Mm -hmm. um, she is deceased, uh, but as tribute to her, they are celebrating her birthday with a, um, an exclusive event that will be um, until June 20th. Where there are four of their um, exclusive kit patterns that they have put on their website that you could purchase. And the four are um, Stars, Stripes, and Deep Blue Sea, Skating on the Pond, which you have. I do, um, yeah. And do the restart on that. Stitcher's Soul Journey and where there is love. So those four patterns from their exclusive kit, uh, you could you could buy just the charts on their on their website mm. and that will go until June twentieth. Mm. Gonna have so, to check that out. Yeah. 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 That's good. Um so I purchased this chart a while ago and I've been waiting for the fabric. Um, the fabric they don't make often, um, and when they do, they, they'll put it on the website. Um, and I found the fabric finally. It's on order. But um, this is the chart. It's called Amazing Grace Little White Church. And I'm going to say that the designer is called... Um, well, it's, it's Nicole Franklin, and her um, shop is, I'm going to say Kaniki's. Kaniki's Prims and Whims. Hmm. And her, uh, there's her uh, website there, kaniki's.com. And I will hmm. also link this below. But I love the look of this, and the, it, the fabric is the Amazing Grace song, so you oh, can nice stitch idea. this on on that the fabric. Backdrop. Yeah, this is also the um, designer that I don't know. Do you remember um, the Here Comes Santa Claus fabric? It was like that old grungy fabric, and it had the song Here Comes Santa Claus on it, and then you would stitch so. Like the song was way up here, oh, and then okay. you, that you had a, there was a little chart That's for a Santa. That. So anyway, uh, that that fabric is also in her shop if you uh, if you're interested in that, and then you could purchase the chart for the Santa separately that okay. would go that she has to go Ooh, on the nice. on the fabric. While I was there getting the fabric, well. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, there were a few uh, other charts that caught my eye. Uh, this one is called Rachel's Compass Rose Sampler. 
This is one of those that I'm not sure why I like it. I just really do. Um, and you got the compass in the middle there. There's some keys and um, the, the wording is never, never, never lose your way, um, which I probably won't stitch. I think I think never lose your way is enough. Yeah. Never, never, never. No. I think is. I think that's. I think that's a little overkill. <laughs> but never lose your way. Maybe I'll put that in. But it says strength, family, home, uh, hope. So I thought that that was really pretty. Yeah, these are different. I haven't seen them. Yeah. Um... And then I'm I'm a sucker for a horse, horse. a horse with a sleigh. This is called To Grandma's House Winter Sleigh Ride. Oh. These were all PDF downloads. They, they also have them as um, charts if you'd like to purchase the paper copy. But I like that one. And then the other one that I could not live without is this one is called Raven Moon Nevermore. Oh. And I love this because it is Here's the chart. I love it because it's so creepy looking. Yeah. It's really like dark and, and you know, I'm sure the fabric is what makes it. This the fabric was actually a hand like a hand dyed like coffee. Um that I think Nicole um dyed herself or so I don't think so it's not like a manufacturer's really fabric. Available. Yeah. Um, but I will get perfect, something though. similar and I'm thinking that uh, maybe some of the primitive hair fabrics oh, yeah. uh, might right. lend itself to this, this chart. But, right. That's a good one. Yeah. Um, all right. Uh, the last time we were at The World in Stitches, yeah. Randy had a couple of new things that she'd gotten mm -hmm. in. I am collecting the tumbleweeds. It's the division of Little House Needleworks, and uh, there's a series, the tumbleweed charts. And I had to get chart number seven. And this is a, a quote from um, Annie. Uh, actually, it's from um, Calamity Jane. Mm -hmm. And um, it's, I figure if a girl wants to be a legend, she should just go ahead and be one. Mm-hmm. So, well said. Yes. And oh. Teresa Cogart has come out with a couple of new designs. I had to get Wilbur because Wilbur is just it is a cute so one. damn cute. He looks like he could fly with yeah. those ears. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, I, I ended up getting some of the threads. To go with nice, it. A, nice color selection. Yeah, there's a few more that I need, but that's a good start. And I also got Tilly the goat. <laughs> um, my sister-in-law Paula loves goats, and I've already done. Maybe you've done I, I, I did. I her. did goat load for her and oh, had yeah, that finished into a little pillow. Yeah. Uh, but she just she loves them, so I thought of her, and maybe I will stitch this for her. Tilly the goat is yeah, very, very cute. cute. And that is the end of my haul. Well, okay. Did you spend some money? I, I have a few things, yeah. I'm sorry, I have to go off camera again to reach down here. Well, I guess I'll start with something that um, is not technically mine. This is from the <laughs> library. <laughs> I've become a great user of the library during the pandemic. Yeah. And I'm sure they did this to some extent before, but when you can just like order all this stuff online and, um, you know, where Jane and I live, it's a big, I guess, county library system. Yeah. Um, so that, you know, they get the things for you and then tell you that you're there. So I guess you all know how a library works. <laughs> Just really in case you've something. never been to a library before. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm sure many of you have seen Cross Stitch for the Earth by Emma Condon. And um, not That really... one just came out, right? Yeah, oh, I think maybe... Is that, what's the copyright on that? I think it's this year, right? Uh, let's see. 
I've seen a couple of floss tubers show it. Yeah, I can't see that there, but I did see the 20 and 21. Oh, yeah. here it is at the back. 21. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Brand yes, new. Yes, Yeah. And I, I've got to say, her style isn't usually mine, really. But um, it's very fun to look through. Mm -hmm. And I do plan on stitching this one, the little things. That's really nice. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So yeah. Um, that was a fun yeah. Find there to look through mm -hmm. and then I also got my latest summer issue of Punch Needle and Primitive Stitcher magazine I've mm -hmm. been waiting for this for a long time as um, Jane said it seems like other people have been getting this and um, they tend to use um, I'd say a lot of the same uh, designers from month to month. They kind of have them do series things. And um, this was one of my favorites in here this time. This is by Lucy Bean. Mm. Never done anything by her. Mm -hmm. But um, that was kind of pretty. And they also have a Barbara Anna and a, uh, that's Barbara Anna. Looks like one of those Dreaming Girls oh, yeah. series ones. Mm -hmm. And they have um, the Real Housewives have one in here, and Teresa Kogut. Um, always makes me wish that I did... Um, um, Punch Needle? Yeah, because there's so many of those I always love. I know. Here's one that's kind of cute, the Strawberry Field by Sub Rosa hmm. Design. Hmm. Yeah. Um, and again, it is a extremely well put together um magazine just the quality of it, the quality of the photographs the paper mm -hmm. everything about it um so 40 dollars subscription comes out quarterly mm -hmm. then we did a little shopping when we were at our lns last time i guess it's time to do some more tomorrow right <laughs> and this is something that is not my style uh, typically at all. This is Nature's Piece by Karen Tow Sampling. And, uh, but it's kind of like Jane said about that other one. There's just something about this that um, caught my eye and not just once, um, whenever I go back. So <laughs> I guess I decided to put it and me out of misery and buy that. <laughs> So that was that. And then um, kind of on a whim, I bought um, a Teresa Kogut, which I don't think I've done any of hers before. But I do like... This is great. Yeah. yeah. I do like Quakers. I do like um, uh, Halloween. Yeah. And, Is that the name of it? What's the name of it? Uh, it's Silhouette oh, Witches. Yeah, Quakers. Oh, Silhouette yeah. Witches. Yeah. Okay. And, um, yeah, the colors are just great. I did get the uh, Swamp Water, is it? Yeah, mm. by Weeks Dye Works. And I, I think, thanks to Jane, I probably have some guacamole, you know, mm -hmm. which she just uh, got in order, too. Um, so, yeah, I think I'll be... Fun. It is pretty big, and I think it will take me, you know, more than one Halloween to get through. But, but all it those is little kinda, motifs will be I little finishes. <laughs> I'm looking forward to those little finishes <laughs> along the way. And I said to Jane, I've also jumped on the bandwagon of a, um, well, new to me fabric designer. I'm going to say X Ju Design, mm -hmm. and she is in Hungary. And uh, this is the fabric that she dyed. It's called, I think, Dark Golden Brown. Um, and admittedly, what was on the website did not, um, or maybe it was the name or I don't even know, I think I wrote to her and, and asked her if she had any more. And um, she does um, basically take custom orders. Mm -hmm. So I am waiting for that to arrive. But I don't really need to be in any rush, do I, to No, get as long as you started. finish it by Halloween. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I like your optimism. Um, oh, well, this is one that 
isn't going to surprise anybody. <laughs> um, sorry, I meant to get these settled before. Uh, three out of four, so I had to go for the fourth. Hands-on design, let's talk summer. Mm -hmm. So I am anxiously waiting for my dirty chalkboard fabric to come from um, Be Stitch Me for that. Now, I think that instead of the barbecue grill, you <laughs> change that to a pizza oven. I think oven. you're right. I think I should put uni there. <laughs> that would be good. <laughs> Because it is, it has been the summer of Mooney for yeah. us, and the, and the pizza oven. That's funny. And uh, then I think this is the last but not least. Oh, maybe I have one more little one. I love this. I do too. I bought Misty this. Misty Purcell Luminous Fiber Arts has recently come out with three new charts, and this is one of them. She does those great birds anyway. Yeah. Um, I saw this when I was on Fire Poppy getting the um, Let's Talk Summer, and I just thought it was adorable. And I did say to Jane that um, I am considering changing the words from uh, counting is hard to accounting is hard. <laughs> Little accounting. Yeah. Little accounting humor yeah. there. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. So we'll see. And then I think I do. Thanks again to Jane for this over today. I have one more other little one. Um, this is a little Quaker. And it is from the heart. Uh, Quaker Blooms. That's pretty. And I saw that on one, two, three. That's when we were putting in an order in. Yeah. Yeah. Yo, this should be a quick stitch, huh? Absolutely. You probably yeah. even have fabric that you could pull Oh, I for. think I do have fabric. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 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 So I'll look forward to that. I think that's all the damage I did there. Okay. All right. We'll see Some what happens other, tomorrow. I know. <laughs> little floss and things. Actually, since in, I'm not going to be there, I might end, end up Ooh, giving a little shopping list yeah. for myself. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Go right ahead. Okay. Uh, I think that was... Bring us two plans? Yeah. Okay. So I don't have any big plans. I think I'll keep working along on my uh, little projects here, and I'd like to finish those because um, I do, as I've said before, very much looking forward to Jolly July. Mm -hmm. And I want to start my prairie school Santas and, I don't know, maybe something else. Yeah. So, I, I, you know, if I get these finished before, great. If not, yep. I'll pick them up in August, I guess. Do you have all your, do you have your Santas kitted? Do you have fabric and stuff um, for them yet? You know, I should probably go through and do that. Like, in my mind, I think that I will have yep. um, sufficient. Uh, and they do use a similar color scheme. Right. But, you know, Jane, once I get to it, there'll be something, right? That's right. That there'll we, be one there'll be DMC, DMC that, that you're missing. That, yep. <laughs> <laughs> they won't be able to find anywhere, right? Yeah. Because <laughs> everyone else is going to be doing exactly. Charlie July, too. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm glad I stocked up on, like, uh, what, 321 oh, yeah. and 666. And... <laughs> yeah. yeah. How about um, you? Well, let's see. Not too much for me. Just keep stitching on um, Let Freedom Ring. Yeah. Um, I have to check no new starts again to see what the challenges are oh, I haven't yeah. I haven't been really good about doing that because I've been wanting there's just some things that I've been wanting to do uh, whether or not they're for challenges yeah. uh, but I will check that out to see if I have something that will fit into any of them um, and then I now I have picked my should I say that I think you could. Okay, yeah. all right. So I have picked, as you know, we're going to the Fugal Yankee Retreat in November, and I have picked my chart for that. I've decided that I'm going to do a seaside theme, and I'm going to do Stitching by the Sea. It's a Blackberry Lane Designs. And... This one has a lighthouse, it has a sandcastle. I'm going to do the sandcastle. 
uh, and I we'll, love we'll, that. we'll see what happens. Yeah. So very I, pretty fabric, Jane. Yeah, I do like the fabric. The fabrics. Um, April showers by B Stitch Me, so it's a really nice, lovely. Yeah, it's gonna be really pretty. Mm -hmm. I think. Yeah, uh, this is seashell. Oh. It's a thirty-two count linen by B Stitch Me. Oh wait a minute, no, it's not. Oh yeah, it is. Is it? See the seashell or April showers? I don't know which. I'll find out and let you know <laughs> next. I'll let you know next time. So. But um, looking forward to doing that. I think it's going to be a. I think it's going to be a really fun stitch. Just a little. Yeah. So that yeah, will be my small great. and. Have to get that off to the finisher, right? Definitely. That's yeah. why I need to. That's why I need to start it now. So. Okay. Um, definitely great. be doing that. Uh, starting that this week. Um, let's see. Anything else? Have we heard any more about? Needlework Galleria. Just that no, it is happening. No, just that it and, is happening. Yeah. So okay. we're excited about that. Yeah. yeah. Right. Great. Well, I, I think, think that's, that's it. it then. Yeah. So thank you for joining us. Yes. And um, happy stitching. And uh, we're going to have some beautiful weather this weekend. <gasps> yeah. It's going to be in really the 70s. Nice. Oh, and it's going to be sunny. And it's going to be just just perfect weather for for anything. But yes. But Especially for stitching. Especially stitching. <laughs> it's always good weather for that. <laughs> so we'll look forward to seeing you again in a couple of weeks. Yes. Yeah, maybe yep. back to our, possibly back to our Saturday schedule. I think so. Yeah. 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 All right. Until Take then. Care, everyone. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.